Greetings and welcome to Studio G. My name is Maurice and I'll be your host. So let's get right to the point. Okay, if you're looking on screen now, I got this question left in one of my comments. And uh I'm gonna read it and then we're gonna go over what it, what I think is what it what I think it means. So it says, yes, I do need some more food stamps for me and my grandkids and my son. Cause they do eat way more than I do. Sometimes I will go without eating just to make sure they are good and full before they go to bed. So please, 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 please help us with more food stamps. Sometimes we have to go over a friend's house just to have something to eat. Okay, so basically what this person is relaying to us is they are not getting enough food stamps. So I decided to take a deep dive into my research and find out what you should do even if you're getting food stamps and that's not enough so that is what this video is about and it's nothing to be embarrassed about they say that uh it's a bible verse they say you have not because you ask not so there are no dumb questions there's no nothing to be ashamed of and people should ask for help if they need it so let me go ahead and start with this video okay so now that we're inside my computer I was able to find information so it's a lot of people right now who are not getting the right amount of food stamps and the number one reason they're not is because they don't fill out the paperwork correctly and they don't take the standard deductions okay and so I found this site and I'm gonna tell you some of the things you should do the number one thing you want to do is contact your case manager Okay, everybody has a case manager. Call them and let them know what's going on. You got to reach out for help. Okay, number two, when you fill out the paperwork or you or you recertify, because you have to recertify uh, after so many times, you want to make sure that you deduct some of the things that cost you money from your income, like child support, if you're paying that medical expenses you can you can deduct five percent okay that means that if you are not at least 60 years old you must meet at least one of the following criteria okay you must receive social security you must receive disability you must receive an annuity under the railroad retirement act and be eligible for medicare Okay. Now again, I found this uh, article at lowincomerelief.com, so you can go there and read this. But I'm gonna just let you know the gist of everything. Okay. So another thing on the USDA website, they written about an issue uncover other eligibility expenses. Although this varies by state, you may also be able to deduct these expenses pet food, services provided by a relative or caregiver, child care expenses. So these are expenses that you would take off your total amount of income. Okay, so that's what may be happening. People are not deducting some of their expenses, which making their SNAP benefits be lower when they could be higher. Okay, eyeglasses. So all of these things right here, I'm going to slow it down. So maybe you want to pause the video and see some of this. Okay, excess shelter costs. Okay, the following expenses count toward the shelter deduction, your rent, your insurance, your property tax, any home repair, utilities. Okay, so I think when some people fill out that paperwork, they rush to fill it out. And they probably not taking their time and doing it correctly or they're not asking questions about certain parts of the application and just filling it in so that might be one reason that you're coming up short on your food stamps okay if you live in a homeless shelter that's a deduction okay so you want to report reductions in income right away that meaning contact your case manager okay Next, don't include other pe people income if you don't have to. Okay, you know what that means. If you don't have to include people who live in your house income, don't include that. That may be another reason. Okay, so here's what to do if you think you're eligible for more food stamps. Boom, you need to contact your case worker immediately. Start by calling or visiting your local agency that administers food stamps. 
you can ask to have your food stamps amount recalculated at any time. So when you feel that you're not getting enough money, you can call and request that they recalculate it. Okay, and they will be glad to help you do these things. So I just want to let you people know uh, if you're already getting SNAP, you can get more if you request to have your case looked at again. You can have more deductions, which will knock down how much you make. So don't go hungry and, and just be out here struggling without asking or opening your mouth and, and trying to seek help. Okay. Hey guys, real quick before you go, I want you to scroll down to the comments and you're going to see this comment that I left. It's going to say Amazon, EBT, and Snap Access. You're going to click on this particular link and it's going to bring you right over here to Amazon's EBT Access Point. And with Amazon Access Point, you can check your Snap Balance right here online. They will, you can shop and get your groceries delivered, or you can pick them up and you get a wide selection of fruits, vegetables, poultry, and fish, also dairy and pro products. You also get a almost 50% off some of your groceries. So it's a really good thing for Snap users who may live in a food desert or there are not a lot of grocery stores in your area. So don't forget, scroll down to the bottom to the comment section of this video and click this link right here that says Amazon. Thanks again, guys, and have a great day.